Hey, my name is Cesar. I am one of the co-founders at Latitude. Latitude is a prompt engineering platform that helps you build your prompts, iterate on them through evaluations, and then ship them to production, making sure that the output is always what you expect. Today, I'm going to be showing you a quick overview of the platform. Um, I'm going to try to keep the video as short as possible, so I'm gonna, just going to jump right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do in Latitude is I'm going to create a project. I'm just going to call it demo. And here, I'm going to create a file for my prompt. I'm just going to call it prompt, keeping things simple. And then uh, what we see is the prompt editor. In the prompt editor on the left side is where I'm going to be typing out my prompt. And then on the right side is the playground where I'm going to be able to test it with different inputs. I'm going to be using the uh, AI Copilot we have here to write the prompt for me. In this case, I want to be taking in user feedback and try to categorize it for further analysis. So I'm just going to describe that to the AI Copilot. So let's try with that. Perfect. So now it generated a suggestion um, for my prompt. This actually uses our syntax behind the scenes, so you don't have to worry about that. If I apply it, you'll see that it takes a system message, then a user message with the feedback. Um, this is a parameter, so it's going to show up as an input right here in the playground, and then it's going to identify the most appropriate category. This is not enough because I also want to include a list of the categories, so let's make sure that the prompt includes that. Add a list of the possible categories. Perfect. So product quality, customer support, pricing. I think this makes sense for my use case, so I'm also going to apply those changes. And now let's try it in the playground. So uh, I'm just going to type in some user feedback that I'm just going to make up. Um, so the product is awesome, especially how well the UX works. Let's see, prompt, prompt, perfect. So the assistant categorized it into the usability category. Now I wanna be testing my prompt with many different inputs. So instead of doing it manually, just typing here all the user feedback, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset the chat and I'm gonna run this prompt in batch. So this is gonna ask me for a data set. I don't have one currently. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna generate one. So. Um, this is an AI uh, generator for datasets. I'm just going to call this user feedback. The parameters are just the feedback value that we saw in the prompt. Uh, so I don't need to touch that. And then in additional instructions, I'm also going to say that um, I'm going to keep the row count low. I'm just going to say 40 uh, just for this example. And then let's regenerate the preview to see that the feedback makes sense and that this is kind of what I want to use. So great product has streamlined our workflow. Customer support is responsive and helpful. Yeah, this more or less seems like natural, real user user feedback. So I'm just gonna go ahead and generate the data set. Awesome. So now that my data set is generated, I can just select it here. Um, I'm not gonna include all the lines. Let's just do 10 for the example. And then I'm going to map the feedback value that we have in our prompt to the feedback column in our data set. So I hit run batch. And now this takes us to the log screen. Um, as you can see, the logs tab is selected here. And it just executed the prompt 10 times, one per every row that I selected in my data set with different values. In order to check the output of these prompts, I can just click on them and uh, I'll see some metadata like the duration, uh, the cost, the tokens used, and so on. And if I click on messages, I can see exactly um, each of the outputs of all of the logs. So in this case, um, the user feedback was great product, really streamlined our, our workflow, and the assistant said that it was product quality. In this one, uh, it said it's integration. In this one, it said usability. But I want to make sure at scale, uh, without checking every single log, um, that this is working as I, as I expected. So to do that, I'm going to go into evaluations and I'm going to create an evaluation. Um, I'm not going to type out an evaluation. I'm not going to go into how to create evaluations because we actually suggest an evaluation through AI based on the contents of your prompt. So um, I'm just going to go and click generate the evaluation and let's see how that works. Awesome. So 
now my evaluation is generated let's check that it makes sense evaluations are basically prompts that read the output of other llms through the logs um, and then they check for whatever metric you want to measure in this case uh, the evaluation we generated is making sure that the categorization is correct it's going to return a number from one to five one meaning that the categorization was very incorrect and five meaning that it was very correct it's going to respond in json format and this is all already adapted for how our evaluation system works it looks certainly good enough so i'm just going to create the evaluation and i get to the evaluation dashboard now i'm going to run a process that was very similar to how I run a uh, prompt in batch. So I'm just going to run a, a batch evaluation. I'm just going to do the same process. I'm going to select the same data set. Um, I'm going to include all the lines in this case. Um, and then I'm going to map, just like I did before, the variable that we had, the parameter feedback, to the feedback column in our data set. And I'm going to click Run Evaluations. Awesome. So. Now, while it's running the rest of the evaluations, we can see that we had like overall very good results at first, um, but then it started to degrade a little bit. So we can click on every one of them and see what happened. So in this case, for example, the result was a two, and it says that the categorization as other does not accurately reflect the positive recommendation of the product. So let's check the original log to see what happened. If I go here, I can go to metadata, if I click on messages, I can see that the user said, I would recommend this product to other businesses, and the assistant replied with other. So maybe in this case, um, just like the evaluation said, other does not really accurately reflect the positive recommendation uh, of the product. So maybe we can improve our prompt so that that doesn't happen anymore. We have another one here, similar feedback, another one here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to fix my prompt. I am quite happy with this version, so I'm gonna publish it um, so that it saves. And now I'm going to create a new version to do all my iterations on that one. So let's say uh, improve prompt. I'm going to create the version. I'm going to go back into the prompt. I'm going to click the refine button um, to get suggestions based on the results of those evaluations that I just ran. So I'm going to click the evaluation. And here I'm going to select some logs. Um, I'm going to try to use the ones that failed. Um, so I'm going to select the twos, for example. Let's select like four of them, maybe. And then based on these results, we're going to suggest a prompt uh, that improves the original one so that this doesn't happen again. So let's select those. Perfect. So let's click the Check Suggestion button. And here we can see exactly what changed in our prompt. So let's apply these changes. And now let's rerun the evaluation to see what happens and to see if it improved. So I'm just going to go to the evaluation. I'm going to click Run Batch Evaluation. Select the data set. This is the same that we did earlier. And then let's run the evaluations. Awesome. So it seems like it finished. And I can already tell that the results are much better. We still have a few twos and threes. Um, but I can check in this chart where the general average value for the um, evaluation result is. So. This is the previous version we had, the V1. So the average result was a 4.28. And this one is already 4.42. So what I would do now is that I would keep refining my prompts until all the results are OK, uh, or I'm OK with the average of the result of the evaluation. Um, but this is the general workflow of Latitude. So first, build your prompt using AI. Second, create a synthetic data set. Um, generate an evaluation, run it to see if it works as you ex expected, and if it doesn't, uh, you can go back and refine your prompt as many times as you want until it gets the results that you expect. So when you're happy with the results, um, you can deploy this prompt to production, uh, you can integrate it in your product through our API or SDKs, and then you can activate evaluate life logs so that every new request that comes through the API also gets evaluated and you can keep an eye on how your prompts are performing in real time. That's it. That's Latitude. I hope you find this useful. And we're going to be releasing more videos with tutorials on how to do different things, like creating evaluations, integrating in products, and, and so on. So see you in the next one.